Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hola, amigos. Welcome to Saturday. And we're on our way up to La Caleta, I think, on the bus. That's the plan. Now, folks, if you come to Tenerife and you want to travel on the buses, this is what you get. A Bono, Bono Via card, which uh, gives you a big, big discounts of all the, the buses. So well worth getting it, folks. Right, so we arrived in uh, La Caleta, folks, on the bus. Now, that Bono card I was telling you about, yeah, definitely worth getting because everything, um, every fare that you do in the bus is halved. So that was normally two euros 30 that cost us 115 so the card costs say 12 or 15 euros but obviously if you use it a lot through the week which i will be doing it's uh, definitely worth the value so i'm going to do my usual little walk down to the front here in calacoleta i'll walk up over to the the seafront and the cliffs see what the water's like today Folks, that's La Coletta behind me. So um, I'm walking up the cliff path here behind La Coletta, which takes up to the cliff top and you get some lovely views across to Paraiso. Um, but there's not a footpath that links the two, La Coletta and Paraiso. I think one of these days I'll have one. But be careful up here because it's quite a ropey footpath. Nice getting a bit of wind. Now my apartments are way over there. Which I normally walk, but today I just got the bus because every now and again I just can't be bothered. Folks, this is the uh, the Blue Lagoon. Now, see that wee boat over there? You can actually hire them. Uh, we hired one uh, once, one year, for I think it's about 500 euros, um, which is quite expensive. You can hire it for half a day or a full day, but there was 10 of us, so it was only 50 euros each. And they take you around to see this, the uh, whales, dolphins, you get food, uh, you go for a swim in the bay. They stop here because there's turtles in the bay here, so you get a chance to snorkel with the turtles. So it's a really, really good day out, folks. Um, if there's a large group of you, then it's ideal. If you're on your own, not so good, but there are other ways, folks, which I'll show you back at the harbour. You can join an actual group um, to go out and see the whales and the dolphins, these big, massive uh, dinghies, which is really good fun. But lovely here, it's a lovely little bay, and uh, especially on a day like today when the sun's out. Beautiful. There you go, you can actually see somebody snorkeling there. We were trying to find the, the turtles. Uh, just half hour there folks just chilling there on the cliff edge it's lovely and cool with the breeze the minute you walk in the heat kind of hits you again back into the, uh, the town zone so we're gonna head down back down to the uh, main little village of La Caleta have a big explorer around there see what the score in the football was Folks, that was James Place. Uh, we I think it's the only um, British bar in La Caleta. The Spanish bars are really busy. They've got the locals and the families come here on a Saturday to eat and drink and just uh, catch up. Um, what I noticed there, folks, in the 
James Place Bar, everyone was sitting up watching TV and on their mobiles for Wi Fi, and all the Spanish tapas bars mobbed, all the family sitting, chatting away, having a laugh, no phones. So, uh, yeah, different, uh, different culture, different lifestyle, really. So, uh, yeah, what does that tell us? I don't know. Um, but it's important, I think, <laughs> to stop when you're having a wonder and a day out. Always stop and just chill in a restaurant or a bar. Um, try some of the local food. Uh, have a beer, have a juice. I always have a beer because I don't drink much beer at home at all. I think I said this in my last video. That, um, and actually, I don't like beer that much, but when you come here, the Dorada beer is just so refreshing. And it's, it's not a strong beer, it's quite a weak beer. I think it's like 3.5% or something. Um, but I always, that always quenches my thirst more than a, a Diet Coke does. That's my excuse anyway. So, um, okay, just watch the end of the Liverpool Stoke game there, nil nil. So, I'm going to walk along another wee bit. Uh, let's see what's next on the agenda. Yeah, the 467 bus back from La Caleta back to. I'm going to get off in San Eugenio. So, we'd normally walk it, but it's just. A bit far today. Um, yeah, I'm going to get off there and uh, check out the football results um, in the Irish Rose and then we'll just walk back from there. I need to go via the supermarket again to get some salad stuff. So, so yeah, so just waiting on the, the bus. The timetables here are very erratic, so we've just got to just. Just chilling, went for a swim there, but there was uh, too many kids in the pool. So I uh, just came back up to the apartment. So I'm gonna go and have something to eat. Uh, went to the super hyper Dino supermarket there to get some stuff for tea, just salad and stuff. Gonna go for a wonder later. Um, need to go downstairs to upload the videos. Now there's no Wi Fi in my apartment this year, so I need to go back down to the, uh, the Wi Fi zone, which is just underneath my apartment. It was actually quite quick last night. It only took about seven minutes to upload the video last night, so fingers crossed it's the same today. Uh, now tomorrow, I'm going to see C D Mourinho versus Lanzarote at the football. Just the stadium's just about five minutes up the road. Well, ten minutes up the road from here. Um, it's Tenerife's second team, and they're playing tomorrow. So it's just a small stadium, but it'll be good. So uh, that's all for today. Adios, folks, and we'll uh, catch you later. I forgot to say, folks, I need to let you hear the, uh, the saxophonist that plays underneath in the bar, just underneath my apartment. Um, when I was here last year or the year before, uh, it was the same guy playing the saxophone, and he plays all the kind of classics like Baker Street and Careless Whisper, all the, all the saxophone stuff, but he's really good. So uh, I'll try and uh, film it. Actually, you can't see him, but you can hear him, so I'll sit on my balcony and I'll uh, let you hear him later on. All right, folks, he's on, he's on.